Jason Arrowsmith have really been making a big noise recently in the aerospace industry, 35% growth. Um, what is the secret to your success? I think it's persistence, to be honest. It's took years, for, for the past three or four years, we were stagnating, um, staying at the same level, so impatiently wanting to grow. Um, but in that time, it's allowed us to sort of fine tune where we are, get our, you know what I mean? get our um, quality up, our delivery up, um, make sure our KPIs are correct. Obviously, we've got the SC21 and all the other stuff to show with this. But, but yeah, it, it's, been, it's been preparation and, and persistence in aerospace. And now it's coming through. That, that work we've been sort of developing, progressing with the big companies, is now starting to come. Um, and that's really it. it. This isn't an overnight thing. Uh, it, it's took years and years for this to start kicking in, and long may it continue. That's fantastic. The SC21 Silver Award, yeah. I mean, how important is this, and how hard is that to achieve? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I personally think it, it's a really, really good, um, it's not quite an accreditation, it, it's an award, um, because it's the only thing that where customers actually state, yeah, that is what you have done. You have achieved over 95% delivery for the whole year too long. You have achieved over 99.9% .9 quality over the year too long. And whatever anyone thinks, that's what Rolls-Royce is saying, that's what GKN is saying, that's what these companies are saying. That's, that can only be good. I, I, I'm not convinced it wins your work or anything else, but I don't think it does any harm to have that achievement. So. I think it's, it's, it's a real um, highlight of any company to achieve them standards. Um, I think that you know, to endear to them standards and to, to win that kind of award is a, is a great achievement. And, and, and fit for nuclear uh, accreditation, what does that mean for Arrowsmith? Who knows? That's the big question, isn't it? It's something we did. Everyone wants to diversify, um, but as everyone knows who watches, it's really difficult. Um, I think Fit for Nuclear gives you a better chance of getting into nuclear. Um, it, it, there's a list of, I'm not, I think it's about 60 or 70 companies have got this, basically, award, and the, you're now on the list that the nuclear industry can come to you. So we wait and see. But, yeah, it was, it was quite tough to get, but I think it's well worth getting it. So. Oh, definitely. I mean, if you're looking to diversify in the future, yeah, it, it's course. great to have. With growth, you know, brings its own problems, um, especially in engineering. You know, everyone keeps talking about the skills gap and, yeah. and people coming through. Is this problematic for you? That's a massive question, isn't it? Um, we've, we've done a hell of a lot of work on this. Um, we've got apprenticeship programmes with the MTC over in Coventry, so we're bringing in apprentices two a year from the MTC, um, and they're brilliant apprentices, it really has to be said how good they are. We're in the fifth year of an intern program with Coventry University, so every year we get three uh, graduates, well, interns, for a year, and then they swap over part of their degree. So that's four apprentices, three interns we've got at the moment. I've got two or three graduates which have actually taken on after they finished their degree at Cov Uni. Um, we're in an area, uh, obviously Coven Warwickshire, where there, there appears to be, and by Leicester, where there's an abundance of good aerospace machinists, inspectors. Um, so again, we, we can pull from there. So we sort of booked the trend a bit. I'm being honest, that the, the one area we've found difficult is programmers, five axis programmers and that type of thing. Um, and that, that's been our hardest thing, is to get good programmers because they do cross into automotive. So automotive is just Nicomar, we're, we're by JLR and all this, so we'll train someone up and off they go, and so it tends to work. Right, it's really positive to hear that, you know, it's, it, it's great to hear that, and, and hopefully, you know, the younger generation will see this, and, and, and it's, it's imperative that the younger generation get, get into this industry, because it is at the forefront of technology, and you have recently invested in latest technology through Faxis machines. Yeah. Now, you know, with this growth, 35% is huge. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Well, we've, we've got room on site to double, treble, quadruple our um, turnover. And that is, I know everyone says this, don't they? Um, and I suppose in automotive, it's a bit easier because you just push the button and make a few million more. A bit more difficult in aerospace being top of the tree, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> bit of a dig at automotive, sorry. Um, but I do see us at least doubling, hopefully trebling our turnover. Um, and I think you've got to. 
that's what the industry requires. I mean, we've got the second biggest aerospace industry in the world, and it's shooting out the window how much they require. We've got to grow with them. And really the big, big task is to keep our capabilities in line with what the big customers are doing. That's why the catapult centers are so critical. That's why the skills are so critical. We really have got to work as a group. And that's why we cluster together in Coventry and Warwickshire and have like the Coventry of Airspace Forum and these clusters so we can work together. So, so we have consortiums that work with the catapult centers to do, um, like Harris are doing it, we're doing it, Churchill's, A&T, Technoset, all of these joint projects where we work together to improve where we're going. Do you know what I mean? Whether it's on Industry 4.0, et cetera, et cetera. It, it's, we're doing a lot of work in that area because we know we've got a lot of keeping up to do. I think that's really important as well. And it's great to hear that uh, aerospace companies are working together, uh, sharing information. I mean, the work that you're doing here, I've, I've been fortunate enough to have a look at some of the work and I've seen some of the work from my past career. But it, it's quite complex work, tough materials, you know, and again, this shows that you've got the skill to cope with that and you're also doing other processes in-house, NDT, yeah, inspection, etc. Yeah, no, it is. We've got a good mix, as I was explaining earlier, about the youngsters coming through. We've also got really old people. So, as you do, and I do mean that sort of tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> um, but, but we have got that good mix. I think we've got about the same amount of under-30s as we have over 50s sort of thing, and then that's the mid-range is where most of our people are. But we've got... a, a an older skill set which is very good because as I explained earlier we used to do the aliens and strangers and all the development work the tool making type thing so we still kept that core business and then since we brought Martin Portrian and the team in who were more used to production work we've now got that on top so we can offer the service we'll develop it sort of get get it production ready and now we're winning the production work as well so that that really is you've got to move all the time um, and to do that that means keeping the work from going abroad because we all know the low cost argument we all know etc etc so it, it, we've got to get better and better our machining techniques our processes have got to be better than our competitors abroad because their hourly rate is cheaper than ours so we've got to be better than that and that's how we look at it and that's how we truly do believe we've got to move forward well, thank you very much for your time i mean it's been in, it's been a real insight you've really been evolving over the years you're keeping up with the forefront of technology and it's great to hear what you do thank you jason no it's a pleasure thank you thanks for coming down